Hello everyone. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. First of all, I would like to thank for the opportunity that give me chance to be part of World Speech Day Johor Bahru 2021. And I am Zai Aziana Designer from Mabakut Sabah, East Malaysia. So today, I would like to talk about the children's right. As a teacher myself, I am immersed in the young human, the children almost every day. My students coming from different background, races, religion, as well as the way of parenting. I understand that every parent want the best for the children. Yet, do they ever think that what they want perhaps not really what the children want? Children and young people have the same general human rights as adults and also specific rights that recognize their special needs. Children are neither the property of their parents nor are they hapless objects of charity. They are human beings and are subjects of their own rights. We agree that the children start their life as totally dependent human beings. They rely 100% on us, the adults, for the nature and guidance they need to grow towards independence. It is our responsibility as adults to meet their needs. In today's day, many parents are struggling to spend sufficient time with their children, which make it necessary that any time spent together is of the best quality. Besides, the families as well as communities, communities should guide the children so that as they grow up, they learn to use their rights in the best way. Yet, one thing that we must remember is, the more the children grow, the less guidance they will need. We must know when to decrease and stop our guidance and let them to rely on their own. Ladies and gentlemen, the year of 2020 is indeed a challenging year, not only for us, but for the children. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought massive shock. School closures have left more students on the planet out of school. In responding to the pandemic, education systems have been forced to rapidly implement innovation. To reach as many children and youth as possible, they have used various learning approaches that combine online learning resources with radio, TV, mobile, as well as printed materials for the most vulnerable. Malaysian school children were barely in school in 2020 due to the enforcement of movement control order. Although the schools reopened in the middle of the year, our children returned to totally different environment. I am a teacher, and honestly, I am sad to see how my students struggle to adapt to the new norms. Less social interaction, less fun learning activities. Children between 4 to 11 years by nature are cheerful and love to mingle and to play with each other. The long period of online learning also affected the children literacy. Learning at home can affect the concentration. And there is also issues such as skills gaps among the children, the, the teacher and the children, as well as lack of learning facilities and parental support. So in a nutshell, understanding the children's rights is important to enhance the mutual respect between children and adults. When we put ourselves in the children's shoes, we might be able to create better protections and the children too can be part of their process of protection. We need to listen and take into account their voices. Children have a right to participate in their decision making that shape their life and therefore they also should be given to express their own opinion. But again, this is right this right is on the exercise, considering the maturity and the best interests of the child. Remember, not all decisions that the child makes will be supported by the parents or guardians. We need to know when to say yes and when to say no. So lastly, let us respect the children as a person and give them with the roots of responsibility and the wings of independence. That's all from me. Thank you.